the value of these systems in the correct application cannot be underestimated, right? So there, you want to make sure with customers like whole home starts with two batteries. If they're in a one-to-one -one net metering, let them know the battery is for backup and for that reason only. But with NEM 2.0 and NEM 3.0, the more batteries, the faster the payback. It's not less. So the less capacity you have, the longer the payback is going to be. Justin, I think that's probably a good place to start the conversation is, is first of all, understanding why people buy batteries uh, or why people buy solar with battery storage. Because a lot of times, again, it's not because you, you went out and, and evangelized them that they have to do this to save on their electric bill. A lot of times they already have other reasons and motivations why they're seeking out this type of a, a energy independence you know, status. So can you t talk a little bit about, about why, why do people invest in solar plus storage? That's a great question. You, Joe, you know, the thing is, right, when somebody looked in investing in solar, 95% of the time, it's because they got a high electric bill, right? It's the first time they go, you know, well, my bill was 300, 400 bucks this summer. I did not expect that. And my friend has solar and he's saving money. Maybe I'll see what this is all about. It's, it's typically a reaction to something that happens to them. And when people start looking at batteries, there's a reason that they're looking at that. Either they're concerned about the, their home's ability you know, to funk, run in, a, in an outage situation, their ability to survive when the power goes out, um, or they had a weather event or something like that that instigated you know, them to really want this. Um, and I think that when people ask you, like, hey, you know, I'm looking to get batteries on my house, and they say that to you, that is as much of a buying indicator that it's time to tap into their kind of what they're feeling and why and their, and their why. I think as, as sales guys, we have a tendency to, you met, you know, you nailed it, kind of be a little evangelical about the way we give information when really we just need to be good listeners and we just need to ask the right questions. Absolutely. And that's why one of the things that we talk about all the time in, in Solar Surge University and on the live trainings here is that, you know, you have to start your sales process with proper needs analysis. Right. You need to interview the prospect to understand what their needs, goals and pain points are before you start designing or, or pitching any kind of a solution. And so that's why one of the first questions that we ask and one of the first questions I ask personally when I'm talking to a homeowner interested in solar is. So, hey, Mr. Prospect, tell me what what caused you to look into solar in the first place? Was it primarily looking for something to reduce the electric bill or are you looking for something for emergency backup purposes? And then just let them go from there. Because you're going to hear all sorts of answers, you know. When when we started at Solar Surge here, so Solar Surge in its current in its current business form, launched in January 2021, and like the the very next month, right after that, we walk right into the Texas deep freeze, and this was national news. And of course, for Texans, it was like right happening right now, major pain. You know, the power's out. Many of my clients I talked to, power was down for several days or a week at a time. They had to evacuate their home. Several people had, um, you know, water damage because pipes had burst and things like this. And so they, they had a real pain point and they had a real story to tell, too. And I wanted to make sure that, that they were able to get that story out of what, what that actually meant to them to lose the power and then to lose the heat and then to lose the water service and what that felt like. And again, I didn't have to really sell anything. Um, I just basically had to sit there and listen of what that felt like when they could not rely on the power grid to keep the, the, the critical systems in their home going. And then of course, be able to come back and, and provide a solution to that. Uh, Justin, I'll throw it over to you. I mean, that's, that's everything. That's, I think these successful salespeople talk less than they listen, right? That's, if there's anything you can, you can take away from this. You can, you can shut the, the webinar down now. If, if you're not practicing that concept, then you are not selling anything. It's, or you're selling under a weird premise. I mean, look at Maui right now, right? The island's on fire. Think about, think about what these people, um, the value of their air filtration systems and their air conditionings right now while the island is without power and there's a fire burning, right? Not only is it keeping their power running, is it keeping them cool, but it's allowing their air filter to trap all that smoke and that dust to keep their lungs healthy. Like the value of these systems in the correct application cannot be underestimated, right? You never really want to have to use a battery, right? That's, 
hopefully, you know, you're in a, in a market where it can just sit there to protect you, right? Um, most of the times, right, you know, these things, if you're going to get your investment out of it, you want to use it every day somehow. And, and But a lot of our country is on a one-in-one -one net metering still. And in those markets, you know, these batteries are going to be used for backup for safety purposes. But, you know, there's the savings aspect of being able to store that extra power for my battery. And then there's the aspect of trying to stay alive and keep grandma on oxygen and keep the kids close. Like there's, there's your, if you talk to your customer and you listen, instead of talking, they're going to tell you why, why they're there. That's, that's it. So yeah. you don't want to miss out on, on the opportunity to, to, to fix a person's problem. That's how capitalism started. <laughs> so. Yeah. Great, great points, Justin. And again, for, for, for those of you sales professionals out there, if you're worried like, Oh, how am I going to possibly sell this? The, the monthly payment is double what, what the system would have been if it had been solar only. Don't, don't, don't worry about the, the, the price. Don't make price the issue. Unless price is the issue, which is, by the way, it's almost never the issue. And we can talk more about that later on or maybe in a different training, how to overcome the pricing objection. But don't assume that price is going to be the issue and you have to sell on monthly payment or on the ticket price. Um, now, now, for example, people have been investing in home backup generators for decades. There is no ROI on a home backup generator, right? There is no fancy spreadsheet and say, oh, well, your tax credit and then the, uh, over this many years you're going to save this. There's, there's, there's none of that. When you're selling a backup generator, you're, you're selling peace of mind, right? You're selling the homeowner some security, some insurance against that experience that I described earlier where they lost the power and then they lost the water and they lost the food. It's insurance that that doesn't happen to them ever again. That's a, a much stronger motivator, frankly, for, for most people, that, that's a much stronger motivator than, you know, save me 10 bucks, 20 bucks on my electric bill. And so, again, if you can ask those questions during your initial discovery engagement, let them tell their full story of what happened and what the implications were and how, how frequently they lose power in, in their area. Let them get that all out. Right. And then also make sure that you can you can also get out. OK, so going forward. In an emergency, what are the things that you, you consider have to have items, necessary items, and then we can design a battery backup solution to match that. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. If you're a solar sales professional out there, or maybe you're considering starting a career in solar sales coming in from another industry, then I'd like to invite you to Solar Surge University. Solar Surge University is the premier online training program for aspiring solar sales professionals who, who really want to be professionals. Learn how to sell solar at an expert level with a consultative approach. It's the same approach that I use and that we use here at Solar Surge to do over $700,000 a month in solar sales virtually with no advertising budget. So if you'd like to separate yourself from the pack of undereducated, underperforming solar salespeople, check out Solar Surge University, where you can learn all of our expert techniques and for a limited time, have access to my live sales call recordings with some of my live clients. So again, we invite you to check out Solar Surge University. The link will be below here. And we're also offering a 14 day, no risk money back guarantee. So when we're designing, you know, the perfect system, right? There's a few things we want to take into consideration is what are my utilities nuances, right? If you don't understand how the utility is charging the customer in various times a day um, and what the battery is capable of, you'll never be able to perceive the true value to the homeowner. Um, so first off, for especially for some of you guys, you know, Joe, how many states do you sell into? We are in 16 states now, I believe. Okay. That's a lot of utilities with different, with different savings, with different numbers, with different uh, net metering policies, right? What would you say is the, the market you have the most success in? Texas and Florida. Right. And I was probably has something to do with the hurricanes and the uh, deep freezes, I imagine, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Because there, there, there's a, again, there, there's a, there's a fresh in the mind pain point that the homeowner has why they are not, they are not comfortable being just fully reliant on the electric grid. Exactly. Right. So what role is capacity going to play in my savings and my survival? All of these different things, these little nuances are going to be different for every customer. So I'm not trying to scare you. Right. But up until now, so selling solar was just a math, a math project. 
right? Just here's how many, here's how many, here's the here how much you get, here's how much you get to keep. This is what your bill looks like afterwards. This is far more complex. However, you know, you guys have some great tools out there. Um, I know the green button data you can upload now into a lot of these these quoting tools and get really hour by hour accurate quoting information, which is great. And um, you know, so we what do I need my system to do in the outage? I think that's asking your customers, you know, what would you like to see in an outage? What are you looking for? All right? Don't say, well, my this battery yep. can power all your lights and your washing machine and your AC. Right? You just gave away the reveal to the customer. Right? You ask them what they want to back up and reverse engineer that. Okay. Great. So based off of what you're telling me, saying you want to run this and this and this, my advice is this. So be very careful not to jump in too quickly. Listen to what they're asking for, what they want to do. They even want backup power. Are they in California? They just need like high capacity to catch the solar that's coming in, but they're in San Diego and they haven't had an outage in six years, right? Doesn't mean the battery is any less valuable to that consumer as to the guy that Joe mentioned, you know, that needs six batteries for the, uh, <laughs> to get him through a crazy storm for his, you know, three acre property. And then does, does determining as the customer, is it, is it an investment ROI decision or a comfort decision? Joe, you and I mentioned a couple times, right? That a lot of guys buy this, not, not, they don't care about the ROI. I didn't care about the ROI when I got solar. I just wanted solar panels on my house. I knew it was going to save me money. And I never thought about like, oh, well, will I get my money back in t six years to 11 years? I'm going to go with the guy that gets my money back at eight. No, I went with the guy that made me feel confident in his abilities uh, to design the system and the guy that felt confident and knew what he was doing. Cause I got like six yep. quotes. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And I, I can't tell you guys how many times I hear this from homeowners because one of the, one of the, one of the interview questions that I ask is, Hey, have you gotten any other quotes from any other companies? Usually the answer is yes. Okay. What prevented you from going forward with one of the proposals that you have? And I hear it all the time. Well, the sales guys didn't sound like he didn't know what he was talking about. I was asking him about if the battery could do this or if I even needed a battery for backup power. And he told me that, oh, no, everything's going to work fine just with sunlight only. And it was like, the, the, clearly, the, the homeowner was not confident in the competence of the representative, particularly in the area of product knowledge. And that's why Solar Surge is so big on product knowledge. And by the way, guys, our free stuff on Solar Surge YouTube is, is better than a lot where you get in some of these paid how to sell solar trainings. But if you really want to Amen. dig into the details of really understanding this at an expert level and how to match battery specs to different net metering policies and different utility policies. That, that's why we have Solar Surge University, so that you can learn all this information so that you will be, like I often am, you will be the most thoroughly prepared person in that competitive selling situation. Because the homeowner, again, homeowner that's investing in storage, they're investing in peace of mind. It's all about security and confidence. It's not about, and the pricing has nothing to do with any of this at this point. At this point, we haven't right. even talked about pricing. We're talking about what is the homeowner's requirements and pain points? And that's what we're starting at. And then we're, we're matching battery capabilities and specifications to those requirements that the homeowner expressed to you.